A new treatment for keratoconus, which previously has been treated with cross-linking, transplants, and intacts, is corneal allergenic intrastromal ring segments, also call, called CARES. And that's an actual donor collagen tissue, which is placed inside the cornea to reshape that cornea for keratoconic patients. And one example can be seen on this side. There is this little segment. Uh, this was my first case. I still place sutures. I don't place sutures anymore. So now the surgery is done without any help of sutures. There is one version of this called care natural. Other people have developed their own approaches since, as you can tell from the title, there is nothing really that means that specifies the size, arc length, thickness, depth of incision, width of incision. So there's a lot of variation from one cares to the next. And we're going to see that with four different cases. We'll give a sampling of each of these four cases. So on the first case, I look at a patient like this. This was a 55 year old male patient and you can appreciate that steepening of the inferior part of the cone. And I look at this and I wonder, is there, is there something that could be placed around that cone to provide support and help to relatively flatten over where the cone actually is? And if you think of keratoconus overall, the inferior steepening that we usually talk about is accompanied by a relative super flattening because it's not that the cornea overall just goes out inferiorly, it's, it's more like the center of the cornea moves down. So it steepens inferiorly and flattens superiorly. And if we support it almost like a push-up bra with a segment, it can recenter the steepest part of the cornea and thus provide more correctable vision. What we're gonna see is actually a real intraoperative view of what this surgery looks like, starting with a femtosecond laser, which is going to produce that arc-shaped channel. This is going to be flipped for what you're going to expect to see on slit lamp view afterwards. A slit is made at both sides to create the opening for the surgeon to access that area. And this is centered, as you saw previously, on line of sight. This is the Visomax laser. Uh, the channel depth is 250 microns. The width is 4 to 7.5 millimeters. This just opens up the channel. It doesn't mean that this actually creates it. It just op goes in the area that the laser created a potential space. And then the tissue is inserted with forceps that are curved and developed by Dr. Kilich out of uh, Istanbul and then pushed into place. This tissue is sterile, so there's no chance of a transmission of an infection. And this particular procedure is called care natural. Um, developed by Lions Vision. A question that gets asked a lot is, is there a risk of rejection for this type of tissue? And one advantage to this is that there is no endothelium, it's just stromal tissue and the risk of rejection, if any, is very, very low. Uh, what we're seeing now is the actual tissue being pulled from the opposite side just to center it exactly where it needs to be in that channel. As was mentioned at the beginning of the video, alternatives previously have been intacts, which had to be placed at a much deeper depth in many cases, up to 80% of the depth of the cornea. As we just heard, this is much more superficial and anterior in the cornea. And thus it has more of an effect. So the more anterior things are, the more they push on the cornea. Intacts are made out of uh, PMMA, which is a very stiff material. It's plastic, plexiglass basically. And so there were some issues with scarring around this tissue, around this implant, as well as melting. The Care natural, as you can see here at one day, is pretty well accepted and not as visible as Intex would be. And that's a nice one day post op view, just scanning across the cornea. And this is about how the appearance remains for forever. It never really gets much less or more transparent than this. That's about how it looks. The, you can see with the optic section in the bottom view right here, exactly where the intact, or <laughs> almost it intacts, the CARES is placed. And here in the actual anterior segment OCT, where that CARES tissue is placed. And as you can tell, this is a much more gradual approach. Eventually, this is again one day, but eventually this whole segment fills out this channel almost in a fusiform shape, which means a more gradual transition from the one part of the cornea to the steepening provided or support provided by the um, implant to the regular cornea. And because the transition is much more gradual is one of the reasons why there's less healing response, thus also less chance of hazo scarring. The recovery is very quick and what I love to see is a pre-op. We already saw what the Pentacam looks like with the up to 55 diopters of steepening. At the five month post-op, we see a much flatter central cornea. In this final scan, this different scan, those purple negative values are how much flattening we've seen over that pre and post-op time period. And here in this case, because it's not as severe, but you see also some corresponding very mild steepening in quotes uh, superiorly. 
And again, one more view. This is now getting out to five month post-op for the patient and you can appreciate how stable this CARES tissue looks like within the cornea. And one more view of that scan showing the overall flattening. That tissue can be adjusted even months later. The channel can be reopened. Also, this tissue can be removed fairly easily. So should something happen or the patient not be happy with the results, it's mostly reversible.